Welcome back everyone. This is part two of the walk around of the 85 project. It's a 85 Mustang GT convertible. And we're going to go into the inside today and take a look. As you can see, I took the seats out. That was uh, to get these side panels off. I was trying to uh, get this top down. It wouldn't go down. I could hear the motor working, but it wouldn't go down. So first thought was maybe, you know, low on fluid. So started taking the panels apart and checking things out and that's when I found these hosers there's one on the other side and this side also both broken so then I knew that there was just no fluid in there so step two was I took the seats out or I took the panels off sorry and uh, on the uh, lift cylinders there's these little pins with card pins on the end of them I removed those and Push the cylinders down there was no pressure in the system since both hoses were broken and uh, once I pushed the cylinders down got them out of the way I could just manually put down the top so that's how I've been riding with it there's no point in having a convertible if you can't put the top down but as looking at the interior it's not not the best in the world of course there's stains I'll try to get those out if not replace the carpets I have yet to even clean the car yet. Like I said, I kind of wanted to vlog everything as I go along. Um, both seats are, this one's really bad, so I left the seat cover that came with the car on it. Back seats look just as bad, which is weird because usually back seats and Fox bodies are usually pretty good. But in this case, somebody enjoyed this car. You might be looking at all these wires and stuff. You're like, man, I wonder what that stuff is. Well, Throwback Thursday. One of the things that sold me on this car, even though it's useless, but what was this old thing right here? Old cell phone. That, that brings back some memories right there. Old car phone. But yeah, it, it powers on, but I got the antenna in the trunk and everything, and but I haven't really tried to use it. I doubt they could even get service on it. We'll look at the door panels. They're okay, I, they're, you know, of course, they're gonna get replaced. That's, that's weathered, I guess, from the top being so bad, it got water in here and moisture. So, you know, we'll try to restore those up too. Dash, could use some paint. There's a few cracks on each speaker grill, but no humongous cracks down the whole dash pad, so it doesn't look too bad. Still has factory radio in it. It, it works, but I think the speakers are shot. I'm not really going to be listening to it anyway. You know, the armrest looks like it might have been replaced. It's a shade different color. But it's still all in one piece. So the interior is saveable. You know, reduce the seats. and I might replace them because I like the 85-86 Halos. I have those in my 86, but it is neither here nor there. It's it's just a rolling chassis at this point. Uh, missing the clutch pedal boot. But all the interior pieces are here. It's not, well, I am missing those two little knobs. Those things like to fall off. I'm missing them on my 86 too. From what the guy told me, he does believe it's 104,000. When we look up underneath in the engine bay in the next video, we'll see. Does it really have 104,000? Or is it 204,000? Yeah, it's a quick video of the interior. What's left of it. Like I said, I do have the seats, but they're just as bad as the front. So it's going to get redone. But I'm going to change out the pump and the hoses. You know, let's call LMR. Let's go ahead and let's get that cart full. But thanks for watching. He like said maybe this weekend. We'll get it in the air and see what's under this thing. Alright guys, see you next video.